we're prototyping uh, virtually everything from road to the roof now, um, with exception of a few panels and things like that. But it, there's just the the numbers are are amazing. I couldn't even tell you, but we we touch a significant portion of the vehicle with with 3D printing now. I'm part of the manufacturing organization and we're actually at the Research and Innovation Center where they are working on developing uh, next generation technologies and materials. So as they develop these technologies and materials, my function would be to take what they're developing uh, as far as the 3D printing goes and start to apply it to our day-to-day -day operations. So it would be building prototype parts or production tooling or whatever it may be. Well, Ford has five centers around the world. There's three here in the Dearborn area and, and two in Europe. Every facility is a pretty substantial uh, facility with several machines. My job in research is really to look much further out um, than what we're doing today for manufacturing. And so we're really concentrating on how we can get them for end use products. So production level, starting at low volume, but then um, hopefully progressing to medium and high volumes as well. So we want something that's strong enough and durable enough to last the lifetime of the vehicle. I think that there are a lot of new technologies that are out there that have the promise to be able to get to the types of throughputs that we need for volume manufacturing. So today, the existing processes that we use are really only able to um, support our relatively low volume applications if we're talking about making production parts. But today, there are some technologies that are just emerging that have a lot of potential and so those technologies are quite exciting. So what we want to do here in research is to get access um, early on to help steer those companies to develop the technologies for automotive industry needs. When you make a million F-150s, uh, how do we print a million parts, right? But, but where you take it and apply it then is maybe on the manufacturing side. How do you use these technologies to support that million part production? Um, make it more efficient, things like that. So I, I think that's, uh, in the industry in general, is, is where um, the bigger impacts are going to be um, seen, is as uh, companies start moving their products to production. Have they really rethought and redesigned the part to take advantage of the strengths of additive? Or are they just trying to produce the same part that they made with an injection mold? And if they are, it's probably not going to see the benefits that it would see if it was completely rethought.